So in this last video for this unit, we're going to take a look at the key topics we covered over the past few weeks. So the first question is, can you determine the vertex of a quadratic relation using symmetry, also known as partial factoring? So for our first example, you are given y equals negative x squared plus 12x minus 1. Use symmetry to determine the vertex for the parabola. So remember our first step when using symmetry is to let y equal negative 1. Sub that into our equation. We get negative 1 equals negative x squared plus 12x minus 1. We rearrange so that one side has 0. We remove the common factor, which is negative x, and that leaves me with x minus 12. We look for the roots of the equation, so negative x equals 0, and x minus 12 equals 0. So we get our first root is at 0, and our second one is at 12. So these are the two points. 0 and negative 1, and 12 and negative 1, since we subbed in a y value of 1 to start. Now we can find the axis of symmetry, and subbing in our two roots, we get 0 plus 12 divided by 2, which tells us we have an axis of symmetry at x equals 6. We can find our optimal value, so it's going to give us y equals negative 6 squared plus 12 times 6 minus 1. That gives us negative 36 plus 72 minus 1, which tells us our optimal value is at 35. So therefore, our vertex is 6 and 35. Remember with symmetry we can also now do two other things. With our vertex we can rewrite the equation in vertex form. So recall that vertex form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Our h and k is given by the vertex and our a value is the a value given in standard form and we know that that a value was negative 1. So we have y equals negative 1 x minus 6 squared plus 35. And lastly, with the vertex and the two points we found using symmetry, we can sketch a graph of this parabola. So recall we had the points 0, negative 1 and 12 and negative 1. So there's 0 and negative 1, here is 12 and negative 1, and we know that the vertex was at 6 and 35. If we sketch this parabola, we now see that the parabola opens downwards as predicted by our a value. Second thing. Can you determine the vertex of a quadratic relation by completing the square? So we have partial factoring, or symmetry, but we also have the method of completing the square to determine a vertex. So remember the first step for completing the square is to factor out the a value. So the a value here is 2, and we only factor it out of the first two terms. So we have 2x squared plus 10x. We leave our minus 30 on the outside. To make a perfect square, we take our b value and we divide it by 2 and square it. So that's 10 divided by 2 and square it, which tells us we're going to add 25 and subtract 25. The next part is to kick out the negative constant. So now we have 2 x squared plus 10x plus 25 and minus the 30. We kicked out the minus 25 
but we have to multiply it by 2, so that gives us minus 50. And now we need to factor and simplify. So we get 2, and here we have minus 80. And remember, to factor this expression, we're going to take the x squared plus 10x plus 25. We need two numbers that multiply to 25 and add the 10. So that would be 5 and 5. So we're going to get x plus 5 and x plus 5, which gives us a perfect square of x plus 5 squared. And that goes here. So now we have our equation in vertex form. If we want the vertex, we can see it by taking out the h and the k. So our vertex is negative 5 and negative 80. And same as above, if I want to sketch this graph, I can take the vertex, which is negative 5 and negative 80, And then I know the parabola opens up because the a value is positive. So there is a real rough sketch of this parabola. And finally, can you determine the equation of a quadratic relation in vertex form given the vertex of the parabola and any other point on the curve? So for this one, you're going to start with vertex form y equals a, x minus h squared plus k. We look for the vertex, which we see here is negative 3 and 4. We're going to sub our vertex in for h and k. The next thing is we need to find the a value, so we find any other point on the curve. So for example, we can take this point here. So that is the point negative 5 and 2. So 2 goes in for our y value, negative 5 in for x. And then using order of operations, we can solve for our a value. So we get 2 equals a negative 2 squared plus 4. So 2 equals negative 2 squared is 4, so we get 4a plus 4. We need the minus 4 from both sides. So we get negative 2 equals 4a, divide by 4 on both sides, and we end up with a equals negative 1 half. So therefore, our quadratic relation in vertex form is y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 squared plus 4. So there is a summary and review of Unit 5.